Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, where you can find these comic books and Kickstarters, and a bunch of other random stuff. Um, so I'm going to start off with, uh, for those of you who follow me, you may know that I have not been on all summer, because uh, I'm going to start, well, I am going to take off all summers, uh, just because uh, my wife's in the school business, and, well, not business. Uh, she's in the educational profession, and uh, so she has summers off, and my kids have summers off for school, and uh, I do not. But anyway, uh, it just it, it gets difficult planning uh, vacations and family time and swimming and just hanging out and all that kind of stuff around uh, the show. So I take summers off. Um, anyway, and I've also been. Uh, I've been making a bathroom from scratch. Uh, it started out with just uh, just the holes in the ground for uh, the drains and sewage and all that fun stuff. And uh, we framed up some walls, put some sheetrock up. We're we're not done with the bathroom yet, but uh, it's still a work in progress. I don't know how that's going to go now that school's going. Um, but and I still have a toddler home uh, half of the day. He goes to kindergarten for the other half. And uh, then I got to go pick him up. So all that fun stuff. Anyway, enough about that. You came here for the comics. Um, so let me start with this is going to be a mailbox episode. Mailbox, mailbox, watch in my mailbox. Doo -doo -doo. So this is an entire summer's long amount of mailbox coming at you. So I hope you're ready for this. And I almost forgot my notes here. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the whole summer's long, sorry, very amateur video going on here. Um, whole summer's long of uh, what I've been getting in the mail, geek related. And uh, so I'm going to start off with something from Kickstarter. So this is uh, Unicorn Vampire Hunter number two. I backed it on Kickstarter. And when I got it, I was like, oh shoot, I thought I was getting Vampire, U Unicorn Vampire one with it, so I'm like, I can't read this yet, because I don't have number one. Anyway, oh, I got the sticker too. Check out that sticker. That's badass. Well, did I just swear? I don't. I hope that's not really too bad. Um, yeah, anyway, so I got number two. I contacted the uh, creator, and uh, I PayPal'd him some money and got issue one with it. S well, separate. And uh, so now I've got Vampire, Unicorn Vampire Hunter 1 and 2 here. Kickstarter for three should be coming up soon, so I'm going to have to make sure that gets in my read pile and gets read before uh, the Kickstarter goes through. That way, I can have something to tell you guys about. All that fun stuff. And, um, let's see here. i got to figure out where I'm going to make a pile of these here. So that's Unicorn Vampire Hunter. Alright, here's some stuff from... Uh, my local comic shop. I got some Spider-Man volume 12 here. That's awesome. And uh, I accidentally, it'd been so long since I've went and gotten a hold, I accidentally got this one twice. Had to take one back. It's all good though. They worked it out for me. So some amazing Spider-Man. I got a book. It just looked interesting. I saw this one on the Twitters and asked my comic shop to pick up Lonely Receiver. Looks like it's got some killer art in it, and uh, no idea what the story's going to be like, but man, just based on the uh, artwork I've seen on the Twitters, I can't wait to get to that one. So that's going in the read pile. Then, of course, uh, Sunstone, Mercy, Sunstone Volume 7, it's called Mercy, well, getting too far from the light here. So, um, Sunstone is a very favorite of mine from... Uh, Stefan uh, Sedgik, and uh, yeah, so that is going to get bumped up in the read pile because I, I can't wait to read it just when I come across it. Uh-uh. And maybe I should have put this uh, box close higher up. And then I also added X Corp to my hold at Comic Shop um, because I heard a little rumor that the Multiple Man, my favorite character of all, is in this series, so I had to throw that into the re into the orders. My hold. And I got some new bags. Awesome. I love it. 
Gotta hold the comics, save them, all that fun stuff. So, that all comes from my comic shop, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. And, uh, yep, that's how you find them on the Twitters. Gamers Asylum, Utah. So that's the shop I go to. It is, it is a bit of a drive away from me. I am not close to it. I think it's about two hours, maybe, I don't know, somewhere around that away from me. So, two hour drive to uh, my comic shop. That's why I don't get to them very often. Maybe once every month, if I'm lucky. Once every two months, most likely. Now, here is Hollowed Issue 3. That is also from, from the Kickstarter. That came in the mailbox. Awesome. I can't wait till they do another uh, Kickstarter for that because I want Issue 4. Find out where this is going. It's about two detectives that are chasing a serial killer that hollows out his victims with uh, some kind of an acid. And stuff like that. Alright, here's another one from Kickstarter. We are Scarlet Twilight. Awesome. Oh, I love that too. They are a fellow Kablam printer. That's where I print my Peter Pan the Vampire comics. So, we are Scarlet Twilight. Got it from Kickstarter. I can't wait to read that boy. And yeah. Oh yeah. So like I said, they it came from uh, Kablam. And yeah, they are awesome. If you are printing your comics and you don't know who to go through, I recommend Kablam. I've been printing with them since 2009. Here's another one from Kickstarter, is Duplicant 4. This is about a future where there is a pandemic and uh, people are getting sick, it eats their organs, and so they get cloned organs put into their bodies and there is something sinister going on. The corporations are doing something behind the scenes. Gotta love corporations. So that's the Duplicant. Gosh dang it, my pile's falling over. Got too many books here. And these are some I ordered way back in March. And there was a mix-up. They sent them to somebody else. Uh, but they finally made it to me. This is Four Kids Walk Into a Bank and We Can Never Go Home. Both of these are uh, from... Oh, man. Why am I spacing here? Gosh dang it, why am I, seriously. These are from uh, Rosenberg, I think. I'm thinking Matthew, but I, it could be Michael. Anyway, uh, no, that's that's the Lex Luthor guy, right? I don't know. Rosenberg, so these, these are from a guy who uh, I've got familiar with his work based on what he's written for the multiple man stories and stuff, so. All right, yep. So, we can never go home and four kids walk into a bank. Awesome. I finally got those. They, the mix-up got fixed and I got my copies. Now, the Axeman. This one's from Plastic Sword Press, I think. And uh, I got this one from the Kickstarters. That's gonna be a trend for this. Is uh, I got it from the Kickstarters because I love Kickstarter comics. Here is After the Gold Rush. That is a big old chonky monster. I can't wait to read him. I backed him a good while ago. It's got a slight crease in it, but oh well. Uh, yeah, if I remember right, these guys did not mail through Gemini mailers. So there's that's that. So After the Gold Rush, I backed it a good while ago. Finally got it. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to read it. Oh man, that is some good art. Yeah, can't wait to read that one. After the Gold Rush from Kickstarter. Oh, and here's a favorite of mine. Miskatonic High 11. I love that cover. It's a Bill and Ted homage. Good stuff. So, there's going to be some some uh, time travel in this uh, Miskatonic High. Can't wait to get to that one. They are doing a Kickstarter right now for issue 12. That's the one after this. So check them out on Kickstarter. And I'm already back in that one, even though I haven't read this one, because I know their stuff is awesome. So check it out. I'm getting two copies, one for my uh, co-worker, Brooke. He loves them, and uh, there's that. Now, this one's called The Thousand Storms. It's a hardback. Ooh, it's, it's awesome. It's huge. It's got some crazy awesome art. And I got a 
I got an awesome sketched print in the mail with it uh, because I was one of the first to order it or something. I can't remember. And uh, so that's cool. So 1000 Storms. This is from uh, Magnetic Press. And uh, I can't wait to put that one in the read pile. Good stuff. My read pile is insane right now. Um, yeah. But I'm going to get to them basically, eventually. Here's Ananui Warriors. This is a Hawaiian comic from uh, Mana Comics. Excited for that one. They are, uh, they are some awesome people. They do Sister Shark and uh, Almakua. So that's pretty cool. I know what to expect from that one. Good stuff. Good Hawaiian heroes. Awesome stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Sister Shark, though. I didn't, don't think they're kickstarting it, so it's confusing. We'll see what's going on. And here is, whoa, Cherry Gilbert, Necromancer. This is from the Destiny New York se uh, series. It's a spinoff, um, so I can't wait to see that one read this one um because yeah i love my destiny new york stuff good stuff they've got a kickstarter going right now for the um for an art book it has all the covers of all of their books and it has an extra um 23 pages worth of story that you will not find anywhere else except in that art book so that's cool so check out uh destiny new york art book on kickstarter right now but there is cherry gilbert Necromancer. Can't wait to read that one. Oh man. Here's one. Burrow of Churches. So this is a vampire one. This is one that uh, I backed way back when I first got discovered Kickstarter. So um, I don't know how long I've been waiting for it. It funded in 2018. So okay. It wasn't as far back as I was saying it was. But still 2018. That's a long crazy time for a comic but ain't hey, whatever I finally got it it's 2021 now and uh, not bad three years I mean I can't don't have any room to talk because my last issue was a good long time ago too so that's Burrow of Churches from Kickstarter ooh here is Spy Fatale Batty Royale Yumi that is an awesome one uh, it is a thick one I got it from the Kickstarters. It comes with a bunch of stickers. I love stickers. As you know, I, uh, I top all of my comic book boxes here with uh, stickers so that I know what's in them. So that's a good one to put in the read pile. Here's the standstill five and six that I got from Kickstarter. Awesome. Good stuff. I am loving this story. This should be a show on FX. Seriously. Uh, it's that kind of good. It should be a Netflix or something. The standstill is about a pandemic. Everybody in the country uh, suddenly stops moving. They stand still. And uh, there are a few that are free to roam about, unaffected by the plague. So what is going on? We don't know. Uh, just that, as you know, uh, there are good people and bad people. So what happens if everybody stops moving and there's uh, very bad people going on that are not moving well that can move crazy stuff goes on and uh, so this is a story about uh, a man and he's trying to get his wife through this as good as he can he he feeds her he keeps her healthy and because uh, even though they are not moving they can still starve to death and so he is constantly feeding her making sure he, she's good Keeping her good. Ooh, I Am Hexed, number four. I think this is the last in the series, so, man, I really need to get that one read. And uh, I Am Hexed, that's a good one. Got that one from the Kickstarter. Oh, yeah, and it has a sticker, too. Look at that. Here is Planar Jane, number three, I think. That is cool. It has a really cool-looking uh, card. With it, Planar Jane is a red, white, or white, black, and red 
comic. Um, it is very cool art. It's like if Dexter was a teenage girl in high school. So that one's cool. Oh, and it looks like I have another run from my favorite comic shop, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. Wow, so yeah. There's three months in the summer and I've visited them twice, so that's cool. So here is Hawkeye, Volume 3. That one's a good story. And I can't wait to uh, see the show that they're making. But yeah, there's Hawkeye. I'm loving that story. Love the artwork in that one. And of course, here's my X-Corp 3 and 4. And yes, that is Multiple Man on the cover. That is what drew me to the series. I still have not read an issue of it yet. It's in the read pile, but can't wait to see what that's all about. That is some cool looking art too. That should be on a shirt. I love how his tie is the multiple man symbol. I don't know if you can see that on this detail of a camera, but whatever. And I got me some Sp Amazing Spider-Man 13. It's got a funky outfit on. I don't know what's going on there. And I got the Tessellation issue one. That is cool. So Tessellation's a time traveling book. Good stuff there. Um, that is an amazing cover. Love that concept. That, that thing looks amazing. And then there's a little homage to the Beatles print with it. So that's cool. And uh, that was from the Kickstarter also. Here is Alex Automatic. Wow, this is a fat book. So many pages. So this is like a... Uh, Driven by, mad by illegal experiments, a young agent believes that he is a robot super spy of a 70s TV show. So that's going to be a trip. Uh, it's got it's got really cool looking uh, artwork. It makes me think of uh, Darwin um, and Jack Kirby stuff. Really cool. Can't wait to read that one. Super spy. Who, who even knows what's going on if he has, is actually a spy or if it's all in his head. Oh man, and this one, I've been waiting forever for this to be printed into a book form. This is Punderworld, Volume 1. Punderworld from the creator of uh, Bloodstain that I've been reading um, and really enjoying. Love the artwork on this. If you follow her on the Twitters, uh, Linda Sedgick, who is the spouse of the person, uh, Stefan Sedgick, who does uh, Sunstone, which is I'm a big fan of. So... Yes, I've been waiting forever to read this. Can't wait to read it. Underworld, Volume 1. That is going to go up to uh, one of the top spots in my read pile. Get it done. Get it read. Because I've been waiting too long for it. Here's something from Redbubble that is actually from my own store. Uh, this is a sticker. Slower traffic, keep left. Uh, I need it for my car because people where I live do not understand what the fast lane is for. So I love having that on there. So when I pass them, they'd be, they'd be like, oh man, oh, I can't believe I was such a jerk. I was in the wrong lane. Anyway, whatever. We'll see how that goes. My wife hates it that I put that on there. So I, use, I stick it to a magnet so that when she's driving, it doesn't have to be on the car. Anyway, good stuff. Oh, here's something I won from Twitter from at JokerFan on Twitter. These are basically trading cards of uh, comics, The Mall. We got It Eats What Feeds It. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one's awesome. That's in my read pile too. Uh, I've read the first issue. And Solar Flare. Oh man, I've got some of that in my read pile as well. So these are all trading cards, but they're not just trading cards. These are digital comics. These are called Comic Tags from Scout Comics. And basically it's a trading card that has the code to uh, digitally download these comics. So if you want to read these di digitally downloaded, stuff like that, um, that is the way to go. And uh, cool stuff. So, yeah, really cool, really good stuff. Um, comic Tags that I won from JokerFan on Twitter. And uh, thank you f very much for that, Joker fan. And uh, he runs a podcast. Check it out. Um, I don't. I think I searched for it on the Stitcher, and I couldn't find it. So I don't remember what it is. But those are cool. 
digital download comics. I'll have to check those out sometime. And here is one. I am a sucker for Peter Pan stuff, as you know, because I make a Peter Pan the Vampire comic. So here is Tales from Neverland. And I found that one on Kickstarter, backed it. It has a magnet also of the Tales from Neverland. That's cool. You stick to your fridge. Fun stuff. So Tales from Neverland, it's trade. It's a trade collected issue. A lot of pages in that to read. Good stuff. I can't wait to see where Tales from Neverland goes. What they do with it. Oh, and here's the last of my mail box uh, of comics. Sweet Paprika, number two. I, I flubbed up. I ordered number two. I still haven't... Number one is in the mail. It could be on my porch right now. Who knows? But Sweet Paprika, I love it. Mirka and Dolphal's art. Good stuff. It's a... Uh, it's a world where there are demons and angels and stuff living together, just working. Uh, man m monotonous? Yeah, that's it. Monotonous, random jobs. And uh, how they get along in the world. And so this is an angel. And a demon. They fall in love. He's got a little puppy. Stuff like that. Cool stuff. So yeah, I gotta get me no issue one. Before I can read issue two. Oh yeah, and here's another thing I got. Um, I got me a sign to put out uh, on the door. I ordered this from the Amazon. Amazon? Amazon? Anyway, I always call it Amazon with my kids. Dad jokes, stupid stuff. You know how that is. What did this go to? Anyway, so I got me an honor. Weird thing when I order stuff on Amazon. Sometimes they keep sending me the same thing over and over again. Here's the sign again. This one's plugged in so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Lit up green. Woo! So I've got me two signs now. And, uh, yeah, Amazon is weird with that. I remember once I ordered a Christmas ornament for my mom. And they sent me one. And then they sent me two. Another one. And then they sent me another one. And another one. And another one. And sooner or later, I had five of the same Christmas ornament. Didn't know what to do with it. But... Crazy Amazon. And so, yeah, from the UPS tracking, I think there is another one coming on its way. So, thanks, Amazon. But, whatever. I'll figure out something. Maybe I'll uh, do a contest to give them away. We'll see where that goes. Um, my daughter, I think she said she wanted one. She wants to make a show where she uh, draws her stuff. And so, maybe I'll, I'll give one of them to her. So, that's the end of my mailbox. And now I need to get on to the section of Campaign Corner. This is the part of the show where I talk about all the Kickstarters that are going on right now that you should know about. And uh, let's get started with Cautionary Fables and Fairy Tales of North America. Iron Circus Comics presents over 100 pages of comics inspired by the folklores of indigenous nations. So check that one out, Cautionary Fables and Fairy Tales of North America on Kickstarter till September 10th. Oh shoot, that's today, so I better get this episode up quick. And uh, This Land, number two, is on Kickstarter right now till September 11th, that's tomorrow. In a world reborn with powers, okay, in a world reborn with powers, of the Maori gods, Helna must guide Tane in search of the demigod Maui. A woman's mysterious path catches up to her, and a battle of ancient kaiju threatens to destroy the world with the powers of the gods. Check that one out. It's from Aroha Comics. I've been enjoying it. They've been doing a really cool take on uh, the Pele, Helna, Maui kind of thing going on. Check out this land number two on Kickstarter till September 11th. The Eternal Dieback number one, a dark fantasy adventure, is on Kickstarter right now until September 16th. A three headed creature from the underworld known as the Dieback, through dire magic and evil wish, which resurrects the Dieback from the underworld as a hitman in a magical war. So, this Dieback, he's got three heads, and he, during one of the battles, 
two of his heads got killed, and so now he has his main head, and it's got antlers on it. And the other two heads are ghosts, and so he sees these ghosts all the time. It's crazy. It looks awesome. The artwork looks amazing. And uh, so during all this, the dieback is trying to face all these mini trials, and his main goal is to find the love of his life, Dawn. So check out it. Very cool art. It's got an awesome uh, 10 pages of preview. So you can see what I'm talking about. The really cool art. Check out the Eternal Dieback, number one, on Kickstarter right now until September 16th. Black Market Heroin is on Kickstarter right now. It is an over an action adventure urban fantasy original graphic novel. A crime accidentally rest. Uh, sorry. A criminal accidentally rescues the Antichrist and has to keep her alive until the morning to prevent the apocalypse. It is awesome. It's got action, monsters, urban fantasy. It's drawn in a really cute, chibi kind of style. And it's got magic. It's funny. The previews look amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I got a kick out of it. It has 96 pages in it. I mean, that is awesome. And it has a really cool enamel pin. I'm a sucker for enamel pins as you know, and uh, so that is really cool. Black Market Heroin, I've been hearing a lot about it from other podcasts as well. So check out Black Market Heroin on Kickstarter till September 21st. Here's Miskatonic High 12, the complete uh, Miskatonic Private Investigator crossover event is on this Kickstarter as well. So check out Simon Goes to Jail but something wants to suck him in even deeper. Also, the Miskatonic High Lovecraft PI collected edition, edition trade volume is collected with 23 new pages. So that right there made me thinking, man, I want to know what else happened because I read uh, Lovecraft PI meets Miskatonic High and I'm like, wow, what happens after this? 23 new pages is what happens. So check it out. Miskatonic High 12 and the complete PI Miskatonic High Crossover on Kickstarter until September 23rd. Check that one out. I can't wait till I get it. I will show you when it shows up in my mailbox. And here's Destiny New York, the 5th anniversary art book hardcover. It is a full color collection of Destiny New York art and comics featuring the art of Terry Moore, Jen St. Orange, Linda Sedgick, who I just showed you the... Uh, artwork from uh, Punderworld, and two new stories. Oh wow, so 120 pages of awesome artwork, and if I remember right, I remember seeing a uh, Connor Hughes art. Connor Hughes does White Ash, so that is really cool. Uh, Destiny New York Anniversary Art Book on Kickstarter right now until September 24th. The Daring Exploits of Vance Launchpad number one. He is a time-displaced superhero named Vance, and he must reunite with his estranged son to stop a city-wide takeover by a robotic gang. The artwork looked very uh, retro-y, cool, and uh, it's got awesome, it's got heroes, aliens, and robots. It's a 22-page story. Check it out until October 8th. It's on Kickstarter until October 8th. The daring exploits of Vance Launchpad number one. So that's the end of my uh, Kickstarter corner. If you have a comic on Kickstarter right now or Indiegogo and uh, you want to tell me about it, want me to say something about it, send me a link. Uh, you can send me a link in the uh, comments of my Facebook page, the comments of the YouTube page, or the comments of the Twitter page, whatever you want. Or you can direct message me, email me at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. Whatever you want to do, say, hey, check out my Kickstarter. I am a sucker for Kickstarter, so who knows, I might even be back in it. So tell me about what you've got going on. Even if it's not on Kickstarter, you're selling it through your own Etsy shop or something. Hit me up. I'll check it out. And uh, so, what have I been watching lately? I've been, I started a show called Kung Fu on HBO. It's really good. And uh, the Titans, uh, Teen Titans, of course, but without the teen part is on HBO as well. Really good stuff. Loving what they're doing with it. And uh, cool. So that's what I'm watching lately. 
So, that's the end of my show. Thank you for watching. Yep, that's all I got. Do, do, do. So, thank you for watching my show. I will be see you again soon. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you these that also came in the mail. Uh, so I'm going to uh, Comic-Con next week, Salt Lake Fan X Comic-Con. And uh, I'm going to be uh, Artist Alley at a table. Uh, I don't have a new comic yet, currently. I am got to get that finished. But my daughters and I did make postcards that we were going to be selling there. So I'm going to show you some of those. I just got them in the mail. Here is a spoof of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But it says Renard Studios Comics. Yeah, love it. I'm going to actually get a pin made of that someday. So I'll do a Kickstarter for that someday. So Renard Studios Comics pin on a manhole cover. That's cool. Then my uh, daughter Shandy. She did this. Oh, it's too dark. You can't see it. Um, so it is a Five Nights at Freddy bunny. So stop by the table. Check it out. My daughter drew that. Then my daughter Kara drew this Deadpool. It says killing it. It's Deadpool in high hills. Love it. And then here's another one that my daughter Kara did. And I have uh, postcards from the other years that they've gone with me too. So uh, that's the end of my show. Thank you if you are at Comic-Con Fan X on the week of uh, September 17th. Come check us out in Artist Alley. We will be there in our studios. Uh, you'll spot us with the big Peter Pan the Vampire banner behind me. And a bunch of teenage girls selling art prints. So check it out. And uh, hope you have a nice time. Bye.